guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. I haven't posted in the past couple of weeks because I didn't feel like it was super appropriate of me to post my happy plant videos and just not acknowledge anything that was happening in the US. I didn't really feel like I could find the right words to use to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement because I didn't feel like I was super informed at the time, even though I was watching lots of videos and donating to places myself. I am aware that a lot of y'all aren't actually in the US, so you might not know what's happening. So I have been trying to educate myself and others on Instagram by sort of linking to places on where to read, like donate, sign. I'll also be linking some of that information down below if you would like to support the movement, if you'd like to donate, or if you'd like to just educate yourself and sort of see what's happening. With that being said, I have noticed that a lot of people have been looking for an outlet of sort of where to maintain their mental health. And I feel like plants can definitely do that. So I felt like my channel should be pairing two and two together and talk about what's happening, talk about what's important, but also try and alleviate any stress or anxiety that we might have been having. So yeah, let's talk about my top five favorite plants that have been keeping me happy, keeping me sane, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. This baby, this Hoya Vitalinoides is so gorgeous. It is, I just don't even have the words for it. I, I didn't realize that it would be such a quick grower. Usually whenever plants have big leaves like this, they're pretty slow to take off and they don't really grow super quickly. This guy has leaves coming in here. It also has leaves coming in here and I ju it just came out with these new leaves. They went from being like these itty, little itty bitty babies to these like huge leaves in like a matter of like a week or two. It's just been beautiful. This plant only had three leaves when I got it. This leaf is brand new. This leaf is brand new. This leaf is brand new. It also has a couple of little splashies. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but there are a couple of little splashies in it and it has turned the plant like kind of pinky because of my grow lights. It is so, oh, it is like the best of all of the worlds. It has a couple splashies, it has some veininess, it has huge leaves and the little baby leaves come in so cute. I adore this plant. This plant has definitely made me super happy this month. And honestly, the previous month, as soon as it started like pushing out growth, I was ecstatic. The next plant that I'm gonna talk about is also like a super, super, super quick grower. I honestly can't believe the growth on this one. Like, that is beautiful. That is stunning. That is breathtaking. That is all of the adjectives that I overuse. <laughs> um, this is my Hoya Neo Caledonica. I unboxed this on my channel maybe like a couple of months ago, maybe even less than a couple of months ago. I'll definitely uh, link to the video up here, but this plant won't stop growing. It will not stop growing. I unfortunately did drop the peduncle that was on it. It used to have a peduncle. I got super excited about it whenever I unboxed it. It's super shiny. I feel like nobody talks about this plant. Like I've never heard anybody talk about this plant except for Doug Chamberlain during like one of his Hoya of the Weeks. And it was just, oh my goodness. I just did not expect this plant to be this beautiful. Like, do you see that shine? That is crazy. <laughs> it has definitely been one of the plants that I've been like taking pictures of the most because it's super cute and pretty and shiny and beautiful. So yeah, Hoya Neo Caledonica is my number two favorite for this month because it's just like chef's kiss amazing. Honestly, the majority of these are Hoya because like why, why would I not talk about Hoya? Hoyas are my favorite plant. You know that Hoyas are my favorite plant. You know that I talk about Hoyas a lot and you know that I will never stop talking about Hoyas because Hoyas are literally the best plant on the planet. So yeah, I adore, adore. Like this is probably like my top five favorite plants of all time is this little baby right here. This is a Hoya Mirabilis. Um, Mirabilis, it's, a, it's kind of a difficult name to pronounce, but it is just like, 
the most awesome plant ever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is a Lacunosa cross because of its flowers. Its flowers are really pretty and they're kind of like this minty green color and they're just super, super, super cool looking. I cannot wait for this flower. I cannot wait for this plant to bloom for me and you guessed it. Well, one of the reasons why it's my favorite plant right now is because it has a peduncle. I need to stop singing my words, but oh my gosh. I just, this little baby plant has a peduncle. It is really weird. I've never seen a peduncle this long before. Like you, you guys can barely see it, but it is a long peduncle. It's just a beautiful, beautiful plant. I saw this plant go for like $95 the other day and it only had two leaves. Again, I don't think I have to keep saying it, but but don't buy plants for that price, my friends. Don't do that. <laughs> I do think that sometimes soon imports are going to be a lot easier for us to do again. And I do know that Taylor Firestone, I've talked about him on my channel before. Him and Rachel are super cool people. I'll link their channel down below. Um, he made a video on imports and like the easiest way to import and everything that you need to know about imports. So I would definitely recommend checking out that channel before you buy a $95 plant that you might be able to import. So yeah, this is my Hoya Mirabellis. It's absolutely stunning. It's velvety, it's delicate. It's like a little, it just reminds me of a little, a pretty little lady, you know? She's a pretty lady. I love her. <laughs> and then the next plant that I have here, I am gonna show you guys a non Hoya because uh this plant is oh my god this plant is just as beautiful and velvety and amazing as my mirabilis except this is an anterium i don't know if you guys have been on my channel for very long but if you have been this plant has been on my wish list for um, forever <laughs> i love my anterium forgetii anterium forgetii is I still like honestly this anthurium is probably an anthurium that I would like to have multiples of that is how much I love this plant I got this in a trade this is actually what I traded all of those Hoyas for whenever I posted that video of nine Hoyas being shipped I traded all of those Hoyas for this little baby I adore him one of the reasons why I decided to show you guys him is because he has a little baby leaf coming in he has a little baby leaf coming in, you guys. I mm, I don't think that I really have to express my happiness for this because it is it is stunning. It is my favorite my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I love it when my plants give me new leaves. I feel like the next anthurium that I want is probably another forgetii, except I want um the veins to be a lot more prominent because I know that there are some forgetty eyes out there who have like really thick silvery beautiful veins but yeah this is my ethereum forgetty eye and the last plant that I have to show you guys is my Hoya caudata I don't think that this plant photographs very beautifully I also don't think that it looks super amazing on camera because it does kind of just look like a dead plant I'm not gonna lie it does look a little funky but when you look at it in person it is like there is something magical about it there is something that's very like it looks unearthly it looks like it's from a another world it looks just like it has cute little ruffled edges it has fur the texture of it is like super strange it's like a thin like uh i don't want to say cardboard because it's not cardboard but it's just like a really odd texture that you don't really feel in other leaves and again it's furry the baby leaves come in super super hairy and adorable and this is another plant that kind of surprises you it'll either come out with a leaf that is just like solid green or like a solid color with no splashes or a color that has like a really beautiful like purpley green to it and then a bunch of silver splashes it is just such a stunning plant the growth pattern on it is a bit odd um but this is another plant that has given me a couple of peduncles. So there are two peduncles on the end here. 
So there's one here where my th where my thumb is, and then there's one at the very tip. It's been growing like crazy in my grow tent. This plant, my vitilinoides, and my neocaledonica have all been in my grow tent, and I think that's probably why they're doing so well, but it's just like, I want to eat this plant. This is such a beautiful plant and I know, I know that it's not the most aesthetically pleasing and I know that it probably won't photograph as beautifully as it looks, but it is just too gorgeous not to talk about and it is too gorgeous for people to just, just not own. Like, I think everybody should own this plant. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. And again, this is a plant that please do not buy them for ridiculous prices because it's not really worth those prices. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last plant that I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you like me or you like plant videos, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. But that's going to be it for today's video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!